many pictures. So many features. Thanks for joining us. We can't wait to share our latest updates with you and give you a taste of the future of Riverside, the conversation studio. Today we're going to cover stability, updates to the editor and studio, and some super cool AI features. So let's start with the most important one, reliability. Those on the route improvements we don't always talk about, but they're always a priority for us. For example, in the past few weeks, we've improved our syncing mechanism. We also implemented a new transcription engine to improve word-for-word -word accuracy and general reliability of the transcriptions. We also improved the studio performance a lot. You will notice the studio will load quicker than ever. This impacts everything positively from the studio experience to the recording quality. We increased the editor performance for faster loading times and greater responsiveness. And something very, very important is the live call. We made the live call much better. Now, even if you have a bad internet connection, the live call will look and sound much better than it did before. Plus a ton, a ton of under the hood performance updates that you'll start noticing that will make your job hopefully much easier. So keep the feedback coming. We're always listening. Now let's hand it over to my brother and co-founder Gideon. Thanks Nadav. It's crazy to see how far we've come together. What started out as an online studio used mainly by podcasters to record remotely in high quality has since evolved into a full suite of tools for hosts, guests, producers, editors, and audiences. We love the traditional podcast medium and on-demand content in general, but we loved the live conversations just the same. So we've completely redesigned Riverside's live streaming capacity with the new live studio. To tell you all about it, here's Dana. Thanks, Gideon. While you can already live stream with Riverside today, our studio was designed and geared for high quality local recording on separate tracks. All that stays exactly the same. But today, we're bringing high quality video to live, so you can live stream in 1080p HD while recording. Full HD will make sure you deliver gorgeous live streams to make them look even better and just the way you want them. We've also added new options for studio branding. We're talking a full suite of design tools allowing you to change backgrounds, set your own color palettes, pick a font style, and more. We're also adding lower thirds, so we can show speaker names and titles, communicate additional information, or anything else, and make your videos more engaging and more professional looking. To add lower thirds, I click the new text option in the sidebar, write something, or use an existing text. I can then customize how the text looks and determine how long it'll be displayed. The only question left is, where would you stream to? The answer to that is anywhere you want, whenever you want, because you can now multi-stream with Riverside to all your social accounts all at once. In fact, we've simplified the entire live flow. Just link your Riverside and social accounts once and then toggle on where you want to broadcast. This new way of streaming to multiple social accounts is really going to make your lives easier. So you can easily monitor all that engagement. We're also introducing OmniChat today bringing together everyone who is watching you. You can see who posted what, reply, and even highlight the best ones for everyone to see in the center frame. Multi-streaming and Omnichat will be available to everyone on any plan at no extra cost. All users will also get a selected choice of studio banding options. Live streaming in 1080p HD will be available for pro and standard users by purchasing the new Live Studio add-on. This add-on also includes advanced and custom studio banding. If you're on the business plan, the Live Studio add-on with HD streaming, all studio branding options plus lobby branding will be available exclusively to you at no extra charge. We think you're going to love all these new capabilities. Thanks, Dana. Before we talk about the editor, I've also got two super cool AI features I want to show you. One, AI voice. Now you can generate speech in your own voice using just AI. Perfect for your ad reads or intros, or if you make any mistakes. Here's how it works. I start by typing my script and click Generate. And now, I have voice generation covered. What about the video? Introducing Video Dub. I make a lot of mistakes when I speak. I need to re-record a lot of takes. Now, imagine you want to correct something small like this. We are 33 five-star reviews away from 200. VideoDub generates audio and video that sounds and looks just like me. 
We are 29 five-star reviews away from 200. I really believe these two features will set a new industry standard. Now, let's talk about the editor. The addition of the editor a couple of years ago meant that you can not only record content on Riverside, but also edit it right there with zero downloads. What's more, you can upload any other content and edit it on Riverside too. In just a couple of years, it's gone from this to this. An editor, surely designed not just for your cuts, but also to cut down editing time. To tell you where Riverside's editor is going next, here's Ronnie, our editor product lead. Thanks, Gideon. In 2023, when we released automatic transcription, it was our first feature totally reliant on AI. Just a few months later, we launched Magic Clips, and since then, AI has been embedded into many of our popular editor features like automatic chapters, color-coded speakers, magic audio, and removing silences. Just recently, we launched Smooth Speech, where the transcript identifies ums and ahs and clearly marks them so you can delete them, one by one or all at once. So, let's talk about what's coming next. Separate tracks are in Riverside's DNA, but until now, you could only record separate tracks in Riverside, not edit them. That's no longer the case. From now on, you're going to have much more granular control over your separate audio and video tracks. Let's have a look at audio tracks first. If I click Edit Tracks just above my timeline, I get this stacked layout so I can choose which track to focus on, with all other tracks kept in check. Then I can listen to just one track, change the volume, mute out parts where there's crosstalk, or apply magic audio. Easy as that. As for video, we have Smart Scene to help me switch out which speakers are shown, how and when, as well as play with the overall design. All I have to do is click Add Scene, deselect the tracks I want to hide, pick a layout, rearrange it the way I want it, design it, and I'm done. I can create as many scenes as I want all throughout my recording. But if I want to do it all with one click, the editor will create all my scenes for me, which I can also tweak if I want to. It's so simple, yet so powerful. Lastly, let's talk about music, the next addition to the overlay family. Music overlay works just like you'd expect. You can upload a tune. When you do, it'll appear right here and automatically fade in and out. But here's what you might not expect. We've added an entire catalog of royalty-free original music composed specifically for conversations. There's a lot of music to choose from. It's categorized by genre and type, so it's super easy to play around with. There's also auto-docking to turn the volume down automatically when someone is speaking and then back up. We have lots more in the works, but that's all the big news we have for you today regarding the editor. We do have some smaller news though, and by small, I'm only referring to the size of the screen because editing is also coming to mobile. Here's Judah with more on that. It's 2024 and we are surrounded by screens. And behind each of these screens are powerful computers that allow us to create extraordinary content. That's why recently we introduced the Mac app, unlocking the full potential of the Mac to enhance your Riverside experience. And it doesn't stop there. Just last month, we completely revamped our mobile apps with improved navigation, new features like virtual backgrounds, access to your exported clips, and previewing your recordings. Today, we're introducing the biggest update to the Riverside app since, well, the Riverside app. When we decided to bring the editor to mobile, we didn't want to just copy and paste the web experience. We wanted to reimagine what an editor on mobile could be. With the power of AI and Riverside, to help you create faster while on the go. Let's take a look. The editor immediately feels familiar, but it is more compact so that everything you need is just a tap away. I can preview my recording, scroll the transcript, and of course, start editing. I can also customize my workspace. By tapping on these arrows, I can expand the transcript for more context or tap them again to return to a more visual layout. The choice is yours. Below the transcript is the player where you'll find the same color-coded speaker timeline from the web. And just below the player, you'll find the new toolbar with our new trim and cut tools. Let's start with trim. Now, this isn't any ordinary trim tool. 
I can start with a preset duration and then, using the timeline, scroll through my recording until I find that perfect moment to share on social media. Need more precision? Switch to freehand and drag the handles. Notice how the transcript shows me exactly where I am as I trim. Need even more precision? Let go of the handles and watch the timeline zoom in, allowing you to trim down to the word. It's that easy. Now for something really cool. We're making editing on mobile as easy as writing a text message with cut. When I enter the cut tool, every word of the transcript becomes big tappable buttons, making it easy to quickly tap, tap, and remove. Want to remove something bigger? Simply pinch or use the toggle to zoom out and select per word, line, or even entire paragraphs. Easy. When you're done, just tap export. You can save your edit to your device, share it directly to social media, or export it as an audio file to upload to Spotify for podcasters. Not ready to export? No problem. Just like your recordings, all of your edits are saved to the cloud and available on the web. With the new Riverside mobile app, you can record, edit, and share studio quality content all from your phone. And that's editing on mobile for now. Stay tuned for more. Thank you, Dana, Judah, Ronnie, and Gideon. And thank you for everyone who tuned in today. Everything you've seen today will be rolling out in the next few weeks. Some of it is actually already available right now in your studio. And this is just the beginning. We really hope you will love these updates. And we can't wait to see where you will take the conversation next.